Welcome back. I'm back. Me and my galactic ruler. What up, it's your boy, Nala Collective, back at it again. And we are back with the Sorrel Tribes. Today I'm playing as the Yen Brotherhood. I will be playing as the Emirates of Hakan. I'm playing as the Nomad. We are playing the University of Jolnar today, so we educated. Playing the beautiful people, the beautiful snake women, the sexy lions. Get at me, furries! Just this, like, mysterious figure from the future. I haven't played the Inn Brotherhood before. Three agents, which is gonna be very beneficial, potentially, to any people who want to make an alliance with me. Kevin seems amenable. Arden, she seems a little sketch out there. We don't know yet, so... It's good to be my friend. I have good perks. A lot of people like their flagship. I'm more excited about their indoctrination and that as a deterrent. Our strategy so far is to just... Get to Megaton. Hopefully our faction ability that lets us go first every turn is gonna really put in some work. Let's see. I'm from the future. What does the future person think? Mm. Oh god! Oh jeez! I've gotta warn the people in the past about this. And the only way to do it is to win the galaxy. We are ready to use all of our hard-earned knowledge to take over the galaxy. My whole plan is uh, I'm going to win because this is my fourth time playing, so... Fourth time is going to be the charm. Time to dominate. Let's do it. Ooh, baby. One round in and we're already on shaky ground. So I'm off to a good start, I think. Do I technically have one point? Am I technically in second? Yeah. It's probably not gonna last through next round. Nathan is off to a very early lead. Oh baby! Turn one, three point, well two points, but on the, I picked eight, they left it open. I don't know why. Nathan has Mechatol, he has Imperial, so he's gonna score a point right now, because he's not loose, so he always goes first. And then now I'm about to get another point for Mechatol. What I say, big, big, big M, big Mechatol. He's off to an early lead. I'm ready for the table to unite against him. I don't know how far ahead he has to get for people to realize that it's not good to keep throwing easy deals at him. He got so many easy deals round one, it's bonkers. Naturally, we formed an alliance, his support, for my support. Kevin really hates it when I call out how shitty the deals are because he's offended at the idea that uh, Nathan is manipulating him into shitty deals. I'm sorry to offend you, Kevin. I'm just trying to call out the facts of the situation. We've made some good trades. Can uh, we just go down to six? That's, that's just your flipping your commodities. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. I mean, that's still helping you out though, right? Yeah, okay, so we'll go to six. Okay, deal. <laughs> Five. Not alliances, but some good rapport. Hey. <laughs> this is a, it's not a backstab, it's just we have an agreement, now the agreement is, is null and void. I have a secret objective where I need four of the industrial planets, so either Henry's gonna help me and get that fourth one by moving out of it, or I'm gonna use the a hole and come attack Rand because she has two right there, and then that would make me neighbors with Kevin, who promised me a flagship. I could still potentially make some deals with people in order to give them some flagship perks. Ugh, exciting stuff! We're in it for the drama. Love you. That agenda phase was kind of rough. I was supporting Rand for Minister of Peace, and... <laughs> Ian broke the tie in favor of Arden. I played Ian's political secret because I thought it would be funny. And then he broke the tie and gave Arden Minister of Peace instead, so... Not so funny in the end. But it was kind of a win-win agenda phase because either one of my allies, Arden, got Minister of Peace or Rand, my other ally right now, got Minister of Peace. I am quite down with the representative government agenda. I think people are gonna get pretty influential pretty quick and this is gonna keep us all in check. I can abolish the law that limits us to one vote in the next agenda phase. Let's see what happens in round two.
Okay, so that's round two. What up, it's your boy? We're back again. <sighs> Got three, three victory points in this round. I think that's the most victory points I've gotten in any round ever. Nathan is still in the lead, but we are all catching up. I'm still leading by one point. Ryan took Nick to off of Nathan. Okay. Oh! If I am able to turtle up on Megatol and really hold my ground there, I will send my flagship into Nathan's home system. Just to slow him down. I am in the awkward position of being Nathan's essentially right-hand man. Kevin is Nathan's stooge. Kind of just throwing him resources and easy points. Luckily I've got a good thing going with Kevin, we've got, a, we've got a good border. He's been amenable towards my deals. If I don't play my cards correctly, he'll use that to his advantage. I gave you a chance to I, move, I and you I didn't. Say, I, I Hold on. I can't do that, so. I have things first. <laughs> don't do deals with Nathan. That's a no-no. He's already ahead, so we got to keep him. Mm, 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 keep him tempered. Classic Henry. He's just stopping me. So he's number one enemy right now. I moved through an asteroid field with an a-hole to get by round. So I could go here instead. I was kind of and wondering why you, you just want to score that for industrial? That's yes. fine. Yeah. Let's get your trade goods. Want to get any trade goods too? No, come here, let's fight. I'll fucking <laughs> build oh, and kick you out. He got a new thing like, like, why are you getting any trade goods from her? And I'm like... Arden, I don't know what she's doing. I think she's going to go for Megatol this turn. Hopefully she's distracted there because I need to do something on my left and my right. I just don't want to have to fight two battles. Ian blocked me from getting one of my secrets that round, so that is kind of frustrating. Had to mess up my boy Henry a little bit. Sorry, Henry. Still love you. Just had to get that victory point. Ian, better watch out. Mm, mm, this whole galaxy is gonna be filled with cat people. The past is not as great as the future told us it would be. This is a close game. We're getting neck and neck with Rand's neck just a, a little bit out further. I am in the lead, but literally everyone is one point behind me. I'm pretty happy to see that even though we're all tied with Nathan now, he is still carrying heat from when he was in the lead early, very early in the game. I blasted off a little too strong in the beginning. Nathan is really making me out to be the biggest threat when in reality it's anyone's game and he was in the lead for most of it. It's good to see Nathan getting blocked out of transactions after he got so much for free early in the game. I think the plan for now is to turtle up. And we, 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 we damn turtle boys. He's really not been able to put together another negotiation with anyone. Henry's not really helping. Kevin also not helping. I'm flush with cash. If you give me five, and I'll still give you these two. Mm -hmm. I won't attack you this round. To get to get a spot on the outside. That's <laughs> worth it. I'm really paying three. That's that's fair. Your boy has become the daddy of the universe, just giving out money. I got sugar babies left and right. I've expanded as much as I can. I got kicked out of Mechatol. Nobody else is going to try and take Mechatol. I'm worried about getting ambushed on Mechatol this round. I picked eight. Uh, Rand's pretty stacked up on Mechatol. She, Ian's just giving it to her. Don't think I can go after Mechatol Rex just yet. Rand has a lot of stuff on there, but maybe soon. I don't want to just like, you know, attack Megatol, take it, and then just have somebody come play cleanup. Every single public objective is just within my reach. A lot of spending objectives. Yeah, it's a lot of like resource heavy, so I've just been trying to hone in on that. One of the newest public objectives, two ship upgrades, and I've already got them. My faction is awesome with technologies. I've been able to get so many, I ate technologies, and they're all so good. Arden's the only one that really seems to be active out there, so good honor. I applaud you. I applaud your things. I applaud your stuff and things, your things and stuff. My secret objective is to have three ships in Megatol Rex. I hate my secret objective card. Like, 
My two secret objectives are just to cause chaos and try and destroy ships and make as many enemies as possible. I think this next round holds a lot of weight and I really hope I can hold my ground. I'm from the future. I know how this ends. During the last agenda phase, we voted on Seed of an Empire, which was either to give the player with the most points a point, or the player or players with the least number of victory points one point. Kevin, Ian, and I were all tied at four, so we pushed through that agenda. We're now tied with everyone at five, except for Rand, who's at six. So when I said it, I was kind of just riffing, but uh, I took Nathan's home system. Oh! So I got my home system taken. Cool, I'll take those planets, please. Yeah. That's... Yeah, that sucks. That was spicy. It didn't really seem like there was any reason for her to take his home system. It was just to spite him, I think. Damn, that was drama. It's unnecessary drama. I mean, I'm fine with that. The face of Nathan after his home system has just been taken by a rand. It was unprompted, but it's not like he was in last place. He's trying to maintain a cool, calm, and collected exterior, <laughs> but inside, you know the man is fuming. <laughs> rand is just smiling to herself. The Nathan Rand beef will never end. They all think I'm salty because I got my home system taken? <laughs> nope. He is no longer a threat, and I am in the lead. Those Rand stands out there should be happy about that. A little bit of a setback, but what they don't know is I have a secret objective to fight somebody whose promissory notes in my play area. I hope that Nathan is completely neutralized at this point, but we might see him make some big moves in the next round as retaliation. When I take back my home system, I get to score that point immediately. Oh, baby! Currently, I'm in the second place, which at this point in the game, maybe halfway through, that's new. Shape the future into a future where I win. I was going to attack Kevin's two planets because I need four. My goal right now is to make sure that Arden, who's been making several kind of faux plays for my stuff, uh, doesn't go that route. Oh my god, you have so many fighters. I didn't even see all those fighters. I beefed up because of it, so I went and I saw that he had more than I thought he did, and I just didn't do it, and I babied out. I'll consider the decision not final until you start rolling. And then I built up more, so I think I'm ready, but I could use those people to take over Rand's home system, in which case that'd be a move and a half. Rand and Ian are getting kind of scary. I already have set up the number eight card, the Imperial card. So I'm gonna play that, get that point first, then I'm gonna get another point, and the third point I'm gonna get this round. They're kinda of right around the corner. I don't like scary people on my back doorstep. Whether he likes it or not, whether he agrees to my deal or not, I am going to destroy Kevin's flagship. Maybe it's time to sweet talk him a little bit. After this round, you'll see a nice little sweet little eight next to me. Be cool. We chillin', we all good, son. I just now realized apparently the focus is here for some reason. Take back my home system. Things didn't work out like we planned. I didn't get my home system back. I offered to leave Nathan's home system for a low price of five trade goods. They're 
Five of the people in the game. Nathan is salty. For this planet, yeah. I'm playing parlay. He refused, so I parlayed and kept one of his home planets. Luckily, though, uh, I'm not the target. Uh, Henry and Rand are in first place, and they're helping each other out. Classic TI. I managed to take the lead. I'm at 10 points. Henry's going to take some ire, and hopefully Rand is off my back. Now that Arden, ooh, did she get in a good hit. Arden took one of my home planets. Okay, everything's there. It took Rand's home system. Ah, I'm sorry, Rand. Ah. Did you get to the party part already? Yeah. She literally whispered this to me. Hey, Nathan, for three trade goods, how about I go after Rand's home system? I was like, I know she was manipulating me. I know she was going to do that anyway. So I was like, hell yeah, that's, that's worth it just for the ire. That's worth it just to be included in on this. I was getting pressure from literally everyone, like everyone was bribing me to do it. She is doing Nathan's bidding right now. And then I got to be your co-pilot for the attack. Ugh, I loved it so much. He was foaming at the mouth as she was making her rules. Wait, wait, no, no, no. What? You get four hits. Oh, no, nice. one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get six hits because it's two additional if you roll a nine or ten with the flagship. Nice! It was pretty epic. It was an epic battle. We just thought. This is Rand's board state right now. Literally. <laughs> literally nothing. I don't think she realizes that she was just playing. These, these are the folks. I did not notice that. These are the guys that literally just spent all their energy. Somebody attacking Honestly, like, this poor angel. I'm nervous she's gonna come at me full force now, but at least I stopped her from scoring the point this time. The goal right now is to take back my home system because I have points I can score. So yeah, let's hope I can keep control of it and win this thing. The future is bright for all of my sugar babies, and it's especially bright for sugar daddy. I just pulled Three victory points. We just flipped a new objective that spent 10 trade goods. Out comes these stunning two-point objectives that are impossible to get. The two-pointers we've drawn are quite difficult to achieve. They elected me to have like this extra trade good thing, like whenever I replenish commodities I get more trade goods. They just gave that to me. I'm loving this. My sugar babies. Mm. I hope I'm not helping Henry too much because he's my ally and I've been helping him all game, which I'm happy about, but he's in the lead and I'm getting a little nervous. I have three trade goods. Arden's helping Henry even though he's in first. What do I need to do this round? Punish my commodities. Nathan is not going to let me. He has trade. Yeah, I'm one salty boy. One salty dog out here. If I purge that relic, I can gain four trade goods. I have an action card that'll help me replenish commodities. Trade with... Ian, Arden. I'm not gonna flip on him, I just, I'm nervous I might be just like helping him win and not helping myself at all. They're gonna get those two points come hell or high water. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm a good swimmer, I can float, but like, it takes a lot for me not to drown in this game. Honestly, I'm a little worried about Kevin. He's under the radar. He could still make a couple big moves and sneak away with a win. Got my floaties on. Coming after you. But once Daddy rules this entire universe, don't worry, there's gonna be a lot of sugar to go around for everybody. Stay tuned for next round. We are very damn near on the edge of the end of the game. I did manage to get my home planet back, so that put me back in the game. Either Henry or Rand is gonna win. Surprise, surprise. It seems like Henry or Rand is gonna win. I think Henry's got this, unless Rand can do some sneak room trickery stuff. I'm so salty because everyone's been talking as if I have this game in the bag. It's literally anyone's game. It looks like Rand is definitely gonna win. Rand to Imperial. And I think that means she might be able to win, so we need to stop her. I'm at 11 points. I have Imperial. 
I can play it and score a public and get a point for having Mechatol. That puts me at 13. The next round is pretty much soon to be Ran Obstruction, trying to stop her in any way. And hopefully if we stop her, I can sneak in with some victory points, but uh, not looking good. Not looking good. But I'm keeping my hopes up. He's not putting any pressure on Rand. He's not putting any pressure on Henry. I don't think he's gonna win it. I think he's gonna help them win it. My simple goal is to distract the front runners long enough to drag the game into another round and then find a way to win from there. Unfortunately, Kevin is on my doorstep. I've been very surprised by Nathan in that he has been a very cordial person. We have a soft deal, soft uh, agreement between Kevin to try and nerf Rand, and he's gonna try and nerf Henry a little bit. His neighborliness has been very beneficial. Kevin started playing police. Everyone else just kind of got to sit back while Kevin came through and carved up my space a little bit. For the second time this round, let's just blow up all of Kevin's shit. Kevin wow. came in and carved up so many of my planets, I feel like I have no choice. Henry is at 12, and shit, all he needs is two points, and that's it. It's in the bag. Hopefully I can get a two-pointer, but I'm definitely not counting on anything because I've played multiple games where I've been at 12 points and in the lead, and I lose. It's just like another four hours to, to watch the obvious happen. Oh, I'm, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm not sure how to get the 14th point this round. I'm not getting any deals. <laughs> I guess I just have to stall and hope no one wins this round so I can get it in the next one. Hmm, it's pretty dire out there for you, boy. I've lost a lot of good men in this fight. <laughs> um, so it's gonna be tough. Henry flipped on me, which I get because it's towards the end. I made Arden really salty that round. I did betray her. We've been allies the whole time. We've had we've had a good thing going. We've had a lot of trade going. We've made some good deals. It was gonna happen eventually, even though we still got offended. I'm I'm sorry to have uh, broken her heart and her trust this game because we were working together the entire time until last round. No one is safe. Nope. No back is bare of knives. <laughs> So we're teaming up to take down Henry and Rand because they're both the biggest threats. And I'm probably going to get attacked, even though I'm in last, because that's the dealio I'm dealing with. If you don't have a game plan at this point, you better come up with one quick, because it ain't going to matter much longer. Come at me. I'll roll those dice. Ooh, 20 hits. I hope to return here at the end of this round victorious. It's been a tight game. Just like that, I screwed myself out of the win. Henry took that planet that I needed to get the double. That would have let me win because I'm the speaker and now I have Imperial, so I could have won. Henry and I tied 13. 13. This is gonna be the last round and it's gonna come down to strategy order. Nathan gave Ian his Nalu promissory note like a million years ago for some reason. I have a card of his. That I can take the, the zero from him, so... And Ian's using it now in the last round, and he has 13 points. And now he has the number zero for his initiative order. He got my zero. I forgot he had it. Um, he's gonna score first. Ian has the zero token. He might end up getting it before I even do, even if I have leadership, so... Ian has Nathan's promissory note, the Nalu promissory note. It's over. Ian's got it in the bag. Well... Henry's gonna gun for him. Henry's hungry for that win, but we're gonna stop him. You guys asked, we provided. I have uh, kind of been pushing the lie that I have all the stage one objectives, and there's one that I have not scored yet that I already have the two unit upgrades. If some crazy shenanigans happen where we can get everyone to focus on Ian all round, I could win, but uh, I really think that's gonna be it. To we're gonna try and stop him, but we're gonna try and help Ian win this. He's scoring first. The two-pointer we just revealed is pretty much 
a guarantee. It'd be nice if he had won. Ian hasn't won before, so honestly, I'm happy if he wins. So, which is what it's seeming like. Space Daddy might get this with the help of a couple of his babies. This is not the first time I've gotten to 13 points and then lost. Well, I haven't won yet, but I think all I have to do is just give three, no, six tokens, which I already have. I think all I have to do is just skip myself and I might win as long as no one takes my home base, which I will be turtling up on that. So I would have had it, I know, but Rand held my home system for longer than anticipated. She was just like, I'm willing to lose the game to not let Nathan win. So she's not gonna win either. Yeah, this game was brutal. Good lord. It was, it, it, it had such a great vibe and then it devolved into, uh. There was an explosion of conflict in the second half of the game that was fun to watch. What can you do? Good game to everyone. It was a fun one. Good for Ian. Future me should have predicted this. Good on him. I'm getting the golf clap. Next time. Sure. Next time. It hasn't happened yet, but congrats, Ian. Yeah. <sighs> Wish me luck. Being from the future, I am kind of mad that future me didn't tell me this was how it's gonna go down. So as we knew hours ago, Ian won. Ian won! Yay! He got his first win of TI, which is always a fun, a fun day. Business is booming! When Space Daddy wins, everybody wins. These are all the people who lost the game today. They, they, they came out winners. All the babies, babies, all all the babies sugar babies are winners. I would like to thank all of my sugar babies for helping me win this. Because they did. I could not have done this myself. Good job, Ian. You're welcome. Honestly, Ian, good job. That was a very honorable win. Very honorable win. You earned it. I mean, you bought it, but you earned it. Kudos to Ian. He worked hard out there. He got it. I mean, he was making terrible deals with the people to his right and left. Uh, he was just helping the people in first place, but somehow he, he was able to squeak up there. Classic never passed Nathan in the last round. That round, as usual, could have been five minutes. Nathan likes to fight. So we saw the writing on the wall. Uh, we knew we weren't going to get it. Not after not having our home system for that long. Uh, honestly, I don't know what Rand was thinking. She screwed herself because she left her own home system wide open for attack. Uh, that was... <laughs> That felt good in the soul. Second place Master Henry continues his streak. Second place Henry didn't get it, which I'm, I'm, I'm happy about. The real winner of this game is me, and the real loser is future me, which is current me. Meaning, I'm tired. I'm tired, you guys. I'm very tired, but it was worth it. I do it for the fans. I hope the fans uh, recognize recognize game. Now, all the lions and lionesses will be propagating throughout space, bringing more prosperity to the entire universe. I will go home, and I won't cry because I'm a big boy. I'm from the future. We, we don't cry anymore. You can get everyone. Looking forward to the next game. Thank you for the game. The real winner every time.